Life 13. Record your life too. Okay. Now it's important to make records of your life. Because that's a rainbow Torah principle to record history. And genealogy, which is family records of births, ages lived and death, of course. And offspring basic genealogical details, but there's history of the life of Adam and Eve somewhat, uh, some of their life, and Noah's life. So, genealogical records and history of your life. So, it's a rainbow Torah principle to record life details. So, one of the, as it were, principles, as, as I've said, one of the principles of the rainbow Torah, which is sort of like a maxim or a proverb, like a rule in, its, in some ways of, of the rainbow Torah, one of the things which we as Adamite Noahides should do, as human beings should do, is record our life. It's a biblical thing to do. It's part of the teaching of God in the rainbow Torah in Scripture for us to record our life. So, we have this life which is given to us by God who made us in the womb. He fashioned us in this life to live on planet Earth, or potentially in the heavenlies, I guess, or heavenly children. So we, we live this life that we have from the Almighty God, from El Shaddai, God the Creator. And as we live, we go through adventures, we go through stories, we go through narratives, we go through activity in life from day to day. Life has activity in it. We do things. We encounter people, we encounter places, we encounter things. We encounter foods, we encounter culture, we encounter societies, we encounter institutions, we encounter locations, we encounter we encounter things in this life. It has activity in which we encounter things, and we think as well. And with all that activity and, and encountering going on, we create a history, things which happened in our life. So things are going to happen in your life, usually, unless you sit on your bed and sleep all day. Lazy bones. And because things are happening in your life, and it's a biblical principle for those who obey the faith, to record your life, every so often, sit down with an, your diary and record what's going on in your life. Make life records, details, notes, ideas, knowledge, from what's happening in your life, a journal for the most parts. And this information, well, Adam and Eve and Noah didn't keep all that information to themselves, they shared it with humanity, I suppose. Well, it's in scripture anyway, so it's shared. So you should at least probably share it with your parents, siblings, children, close family at the least, maybe even at the most. <sighs> But it's important to make these records for your own personal recollections when you sit there in old age looking over your old journal entries. Oh, I remember that. And you sort of look at something you wrote that's a salient point or, or of a converse. Why would I think that? That's an interesting thought that I had at that time. So records are useful for reflection upon and pondering upon how we, we lived our life and the good things we did and the mistakes we made, all sorts of reasons why we make records. But it's certainly a directive, a principle, an idea, a maxim, a motivation of the Rainbow Torah, which it should put within us, and we should comply with that, make records and have those records exist for the purposes of study, enjoyment, entertainment, and education, and for posterity.